It's our lead monologue, take eight. Now, now, officer, I know my rights as a citizen, so don't you play any funny business around me, or hell will come down on you like a ton of bricks. Excuse me. Could I offer you um, some tea or perhaps a crumpet? What was I? Ah, uh, yes. So I says to him, there is absolutely no way a perfect husband could exist. Someone with, with arms as strong as a bodybuilder or the brains of a scientist. Hey, I'm the one talking! Don't you come into my living room and start talking over me? Didn't your mother teach you any manners? And what is all this? Accusing me of murdering 17 sexy, beautiful, handsome, godly men. If you could just think about how my fingers fell upon their soft skin or how their bosoms feel like a glimpse of heaven. Hey, where the hell did you go? How did you get over there so fast? Now, if you would stop talking over me, and I could tell you why I hate men so much. Oh, you didn't ask that? Well, honey, I'll just tell you. And sometimes they're just so god-awful annoying with their yapping and their cheating and screwing the milkman. I knew he was gay! Starting to wonder if a perfect husband even exists. But if you can take 17 of the almost perfect men and piece each and every one together, it could be a miracle. Oh, darling, that's annoying! Mr. Whisker, something bothering you? It's you. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh. oh, it's okay, Mr. Whiskers. I didn't care for him either. Oh, how about some tea or a crumpet, perhaps? 